Today's guest on the interview is Lord Weidenfeld. Born in Austria in 1919, fled from the Nazis, became a British citizen in 1946, founded his own publishing company, Weidenfeld and Nicholson, became a political advisor to Israel's first president, knighted in 1969, honored with a life peerage in 1976. And in 2011, he was appointed Knight Grand Cross of the Order of the British Empire. Lord Redenfeld, I'd just like to say what a privilege it is and an honour to be here in your London home on the embankment of the Thames and to meet such a man as yourself. I see there's a letter over there from Benjamin Netanyahu. Yes. What sort of gentleman is he? Well, I'm very fond of him. They know him quite well. But he is a person who has a, a passion for Israel's security. I think he's been through all kind of manifestations and the changes in his own life. He's, as I said, there's two other people in his life, his family. He had to live up to or, or felt that they looked down on him. His brother, the hero of Entebbe, who saved the people, and remember, in the Entebbe raid. And his father was a great historian and who was a very passionate Zionist. And so he had something to live up to. I believe that Netanyahu is a, is a very good man. And when it comes to serious decisions, for instance, if it comes to an intifada, or thanks to uh, Iran having now got so much cash now, uh, some sort of attack by Hezbollah, and in, on, on the whole Golden Heights, he'll hit out and he'll clobber them again. In 1999, I had the privilege of meeting uh, Netanyahu, and it was something that he said to me that set me on a path uh, to make sure that Revelation TV does what he'd actually said to me that very night. It was only a short interview, just a few minutes, but he really said to me when I said, what can we do as Christians to help Israel? And he said to establish the truth and to counter the lies that, and always when there are lies associated with anything that usually ends up coming back to the sort of situation that happened time and time again with the pogroms, with the, the, what happened in Germany as well, with the Holocaust, it's always undergirded by um, misinformation about the Jewish people. And I, from a child, had come to the conclusion that something wasn't right. I was born in 1946 and I saw a lot of documentaries on television and I could not understand why and how a generation, like say my mum and dad, didn't do anything about it. Well, we should all try uh, having these wonderful friends like you and uh, particularly religious a block, as it were, uh, I mean, Catholicism and Christianity should realize that jihadism is the worst enemy they've, they've had. And not just us, they also destroy you too. And so I think we should stick together and again, uh, behold what Pope John Paul said, that the Jew is the elder brother of the church and you are our brothers and sisters. We should work together and fight against jihadism as the worst enemy we've ever had. I asked Lord Weidenfeld why he wanted to particularly help the Christians in the Middle East and not the Muslims. This is a very good question because a Muslim threatened by ISIL has got both the financial support of people like the Emirates or so on, that's absolutely swimming in money, and they have the advantage of logistics. If today a Muslim were uh, ed, uh, persecuted in an Israel country in a taxi at 100 kilometers away, he's in a safe haven. The Christian hasn't got the money available there. He's got to go around the world to, if he's lucky enough to get anywhere. Even if the last Jew goes out of Europe, he has a home to go to Israel. But the last Gentile has not. In other words, if your children and grandchildren are going to wake up and see that they're not there are six, seven, eight million Muslims, and that they're all sympathizing with the extremists, then I don't envy you. We have at least, however painful it may be in the short run, the chance of going back to, to Israel. In other words, 
you know, the, the worst that can happen to a French Jewish family, all right, that is not going to live in Paris, but live in Tel Aviv and to also go to theatre and opera and, 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 and lead a decent life. But I mean, the, the, the poor Christian has got it.